Uh, can you wait a minute, Danny? Sure, sir. You seem to be in a hurry. No, not really. Just sit and let's chat a bit. Sure. Do you read the evening news? Only the comics on the theater page, and sometimes I has look at the pictures. What about Tell Me Your Problem by Marianne Macaulay? <laughs> that, I don't bother with that at all. Why, Danny? It's a set of nonsense. Somebody always has some kind of confusion in their love life and don't know what to do. Things like that don't bother me at all. Still, I should like you to read this one. Here. Dear Marion, I'm 25 years old. Men think me very attractive, and I like their company very much. I've had several affairs with men, but there is one man I really love. But he just makes love to me and does not put his heart in it. When we are together, he talks all the time about a girl who was once living with him, but who has since returned to her parents' home. Whenever I ask him if he loves me, he says he does not believe in love and all that. Now, Marion, there is another man, about 50, who has left his wife and daughter for my sake. He wants me to live in his luxury apartment. He is willing to give me all I want, but when we make love, I don't feel anything towards him. I can't go on like this much longer. Which one should I choose? The old one? Or the young one, sweetness. Does that remind you of anybody you know? N no, sir. Look, Danny, we are two big men being made fools of by the same woman. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Danny, don't let me lose my temper. Please, stop that pretense. You have been seen, Carl. I don't know what to say. I, I, I want the truth. Yes, I've been seeing her, but... Uh, but I'm um, what? I really don't want to see her. You realize I could fire you right now? Yes, I know that, sir. But, you see, I mean, she's a nice woman, and I... <sighs> Danny, you made a promise to have nothing to do with this girl. I know that, but, um, you see... Look, stop beating about the bush. Say what you have to say. She's the one that keeps coming after me. And, I mean, as a man, and she's a woman. But I really don't love her. You made love to her then? Yes, sir. Where? Right in the Botanic Gardens. You fellas don't care anything? Sorry, sir. You did it already. Nothing could be done now. But I find this hard to take, Danny. Very hard. I gave you a job. We made an agreement. Now you break your word. I tried to get rid of her, but she keep coming after me. I just had to make love to her. But Danny, now that you have a job and money in your pocket, you should be able to get yourself another girl. Look, I could give up any time, just as you say in the papers. But I really don't care for her. You didn't read the answer Marian Macaulay gave to her problem. Read it. Dear sweetness, you seem to be confused. It is plain that a young man does not love you and probably never will. He's just trying to use you to forget the girl he really loves. The older man appears to be madly in love, but the difference in age is too great. The older he gets is the more you will dislike him. You should forget both of them and find yourself a new love, which should not be difficult for you. Marion. See this stupid answer? If she should follow that Marion Macaulay, we both will be forgotten men. <laughs> what a life. And I have given so much for this girl. Sir, is it all right if I tell you what to do? Okay, let me hear you. A man in your position could get any girl he want. Just don't bother with her. That's easy for you to see. I actually feel a pain when I do not see Kara. I just like the way she walks, the way she talks, the way she smiles. Her laughter to me is like heavenly music. I can't live without her. 
sir. You serious? Yes, Danny. I know this sounds ridiculous, but I love her very much. Very, very much. You know something? I think about her all the time. I see her face everywhere. I need your help, Danny. Anything you say. No. Give her up completely. Don't even talk to her. I tried that, but she's come up to my room and called me. All right. You tell her, if she's not on good terms with me, you'll have nothing to do with her. I suppose I'll have to share her with you. I'll still try and finish with her for good. Nice, Danny. Now, you have been working very well. And from next week, you can expect a small increase in your salary. Thanks. For, let's say efficiency. <laughs> Thanks very much, sir. That's all, Danny. Now remember, this is confidential. Never a word to anyone. <laughs> you can count on me, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Danny. 